Hello everyone and welcome to a new video on the channel. Um, in today's video um, I've got a lot of stuff to show. It ranges from, I did a really big CEX haul. I bought quite a lot from CEX at the start of the week. I've had quite a lot of deliveries um, throughout the week including some Black Friday deals. I've got some new 4Ks and I've got some TV box sets to go through so it's going to be quite a long video today. So bear with me and obviously if there's certain things you're not interested in, feel free to skip through the video or don't watch the video at all, up to you. But yeah, going to get started now, starting with the box sets and this I had delivered at the start of the week and that is Teachers, the complete series. So this is series one, two, three and four. Uh, the main reason that I got this is because it is set in Bristol, which is obviously where I'm from. So is something that I've been interested in watching for a long time. I've heard a lot of really good stuff about it, so I thought I'd pick it up. It was really cheap on Music Magpie, so I thought it was the right time to get it. And I will check it out at some point. Let me know what you think of it, if you've seen any of it down below. I just watched one episode, I believe it was the final episode, quite a long time ago. And I really liked it, so I'm looking forward to checking the whole series out at some point. That is Teach Us the Complete Series. Next up, two Black Friday deals on Amazon that I got. First one is Yellowstone Seasons 1 and 2. I've wanted to watch this for a long time. I'd watched the pilot episode when it first came out here about two or three years ago. And really liked it. And I saw this for £21 on Amazon, the first two series, which are the only two available in the UK at the moment. And just thought I should just grab it whilst it's there. And since that, I rewatched the pilot when I got this and still really like it. So I'm looking forward to checking the rest of it out at some point. I uh, really like Kevin Costner. So, And the writer, Taylor Sheridan, has done some of my favourite stuff like Sicario, Wind River, which I think is really underrated. So, yeah, definitely look forward to watching the rest of that. And finally, uh, I ordered this on Thursday evening, got this yesterday. <clears throat> and it's something that I started to watch when it came out on Prime last year. I know the second series is due out, uh, I think, in February on Prime. I'm not a massive fan of this franchise. I will say I've only seen the new films. I've not seen anything else except for the start of this. But I did really like this, which is why I got it. I got it for £15 on Amazon as well, so I thought I'd get it, watch it all um, ready for the second series. And that is Star Trek Picard Season 1 really like Patrick Stewart. I think I watched the first three or four episodes of this when it was on Prime and I really liked it. As I say, I'm not a massive Star Trek fan. I've seen the new films and I quite like them. So I'm looking to try and watch more. Uh, at some point I will get Discovery when it's at a good price, but at the moment it's quite expensive. So I just have to look out for that and then I can watch them. I know they're on Netflix, but I prefer to have it physically. Uh, it makes me want to watch it more. So, I mean, as I say, this is on Prime, but now I've got this, I'm more likely to watch it, because I've got it in my collection. But, yeah, I really liked what I saw. Obviously, I've not seen any of the next generation, which this is linked to, so there are going to be some bits that don't click with me, that will click with those fans. But, uh, I'm sure I'll still enjoy it, so, yeah, that is Star Trek Picard Season 1. Now on to my deliveries. I've got a big handful of deliveries this week. First up is Blue Velvet been interested in checking this out for a long time finally gave it a watch last night and I will say it's definitely a weird film not everyone is going to like it not everyone is going to appreciate it it's very different it's not like something that you would most people generally gravitate towards but that is David Lynch this is the first David Lynch film I've seen uh, I have seen the first one or two episodes of Twin Peaks which stay tuned you may see something relating to that next week in next week's video but yeah I did enjoy the story of this it was a bit weird but sometimes films have to be different to be liked so sounds weird but it's true so yeah I'd recommend Blue Velvet if you're a fan of film it is regarded as one of the best films of the 80s so yeah that is Blue Velvet next up I'll show all three of these are three that I ordered on Music Magpie, three that I needed in the collection and I got cheap. I've been wanting to get them for a while, so I pulled the trigger and got them. First one is Valentine's Day, Gary Marshall film. 
yeah, it's a good romantic comedy. I really like it. I like the fact that it's got a really big all-star ensemble cast. It's quite funny. It's just a really good film. Uh, not as good as, like, Pretty Woman, but it's still a really good film. And I really enjoy it, so happy to have that in the collection. And then to go with that, I've got New Year's Eve, which I've got in preparation to watch on maybe New Year's Eve. I don't know, maybe I'll watch it then or just slightly before then. I believe I watched this for the first time on New Year's Eve actually, so a few years ago. So again, really good ensemble cast. So I look forward to revisiting this very soon. And then one that I'd say is quite underrated, not a lot of people talk about, but I watched this a few years ago and really like this. I did get this second hand, but it's still sealed, which is quite good. So um, but that is extremely loud and incredibly close with Tom Hanks and Sandra Bullock. It's based on a novel, and it's basically about this young boy whose father dies in the Twin Towers, and he leaves him things behind to go and, like, you know, help him remember him, like, if you know what I mean. And, yeah, I just think it's a really good film, really underrated. Uh, I would definitely recommend checking this out if you've not seen it. Because it's a really good film. Can't go wrong with Tom Hanks and Sandra Bullock. So, And you've also got um, Max von Sydow, Viola Davis, John Goodman, Jeffrey Wright. So it's a really good cast. And I think it's a really good film. So yeah, that's extremely loud and incredibly close. Next up, we have Gran Torino. When I went into CEX at the start of the week, this was one I intended on picking up. I found the case, took it to the counter took about 45 minutes for the man to find things. I don't know what they're doing in there, but they're really bad at the moment. Uh, I don't know whether it's because they've not got many employees or the employees they have aren't really that experienced and they're new. I don't know, but what should have taken between 5 to 10 minutes took 45 minutes to find just over 10 titles. And he took about 5 minutes per film and it was getting a bit annoying. He couldn't find this one, and he couldn't find another one, which I wasn't bothered about. I did really want this one, and it was 16p extra on Music Magpie, so I thought I'd get it. Great film, one of Clint Eastwood's best films. Really happy to have this to revisit again soon. So, yeah, that is Grand Torino. And next up, we have Platoon. I got this, I believe it was the weekend, just gone. This came in the post. And it's one that I'd wanted to watch for quite a long time. I was really interested in it because I've heard it's one of the best war films ever made. It's got a really good cast. It's won quite a lot of awards. So I really wanted to check it out. It's a film by Oliver Stone, who's a really highly regarded director. So I bought it on eBay quite cheap. And I watched it last Saturday, so a week ago. And whilst I think it's a very well done film, it is... Some can consider it a masterpiece. It's very difficult to watch. It's quite an unpleasant watch. But I do believe that it is quite an important watch. So you can see what, well, kind of what war is really like. How brutal it is. How brutal people can be towards each other. And it's just it's a piece of art really I think more than anything. It's not a film you go to watch for entertainment value I wouldn't say. You, you don't like laugh or anything through this film. Because it is quite a serious um, film, but it is a very important film. So, yeah, I would definitely recommend checking this out. Um, because it is a great war film. And it's a really gritty war film. So, yeah, that is Platoon. Next up, we have the Silence of the Lambs. This was like £8 in CEX. And I managed to get it for £5 on eBay. So, I thought that was definitely worth getting. And it's a film that I really enjoyed. I watched it maybe last year during lockdown, I think. And just really liked it, thought Anthony Hopkins was brilliant, as was Jodie Foster. It's one of those films that I think everyone should watch if you're a fan of films. It is just one of the, the like again, regarded as one of the best films ever made. Probably top 100, maybe top 150 for most people. But it's a really good film, really good crime thriller. Um, lots of twists and yeah, I just really liked it. So really happy to have it in the collection. And then two that came in the post this morning to complete something which you'll see in a minute. The Matrix Reloaded and obviously its sequel Matrix Revolutions. Not a great fan, 
excuse me, not a great fan of these films. Um, I think the second one's better than the third. Not as good as the first, obviously. They're very average sequels, um, but I've got these in preparation for the new one, Matrix Resurrections. I probably will re-watch these before then. If you're interested in seeing me review all three of them, rank them on the channel, let me know. I'm happy to do that. won't take me long. I'll probably do it next weekend after I've done my pickups video. Just let me know and I'll get these watched during the week. So yeah, Matrix Reloaded and The Matrix Revolutions. Now on to my CEX pickups. First up we have Valkyrie with Tom Cruise. This is one of Tom Cruise's only films that I've not watched. It's one that I've been really wanting to watch for a long time. So I was very happy to find this at a good price in CEX. It's got a great um, cast. Obviously you've got Tom Cruise who plays, is it Von Staffenberg? Klaus von Staffenberg who tried, who attempted to assassinate Hitler. And you've also got in here, let's look, Kenneth Branagh, Bill Nye, Tom Wilkinson, Terence Stamp. Just a really, really great cast. Eddie Izzard, I think, looks like on the front cover as well. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to checking this out because I like these types of films. And can't go wrong with a bit of Tom Cruise, in my opinion. So, yeah, that is Valkyrie. Next up is Planet of the Apes. Uh, I'm trying to get more and more into Tim Burton. I'm appreciating him more than I used to. I mean, he's done some great films now, in my opinion. I really love Edward Scissorhands. I don't think Beetlejuice is as good as people say it is. I think it's okay. It's not. It's, I don't like it as much as a lot of people I know like it. And you've got Batman, my favourite Batman, favourite comic book film. And Batman Returns, which is great. Mars Attacks, I really like. So there's quite a lot that Big Fish, again, I really like. This was one that I've not seen and I've heard is really bad. But I want to check it out and it was really cheap, so I thought... I might as well get it and see what it's like. I like Mark Wahlberg as well. It's got Tim Roth in it. So, yep. Not expecting too much from this, but I just want to check it out. See what it's like compared to the new ones. I don't think it's going to be great at all. But who knows, I might really enjoy it. Planet of the Apes. Next up is The Little Stranger. This is one that I missed at the cinema a few years ago, but I was interested in watching. Finally managed to get this and it was a really good price. So this is one that I want to watch soon. I believe it's like a ghost story of sorts, uh, set in like this big mansion in the countryside during the war, or just after the war rather. So, Second World War that is. It's got Donald Gleeson in, who I really like, so I'll look, check this out soon. So, if you've seen it, let me know what you think. So, yep, yeah, that is The Little Stranger. Next up, I've tr I've been trying to like build on my classic films, some actors that I wouldn't normally get, some older films. And this one was there, and it's one I've been meaning to pick up for a while. And that's The Searchers with John Wayne. Don't really have many old westerns in my collection. This is probably the only one, um, to be honest. And they are films that I want to try and watch more of. I've heard John Wayne is one of the best western actors out there of his time. So I really, really want to check this out soon because I do like westerns. I mean, I'm for, um, why am I forgetting the name? The, the Clint Eastwood one is it unforgivable? It's unforgivable, isn't it? Yeah, that's one of my favourites. As is Wyatt Earp. I had a bit of a brain fart there. Sorry, but yeah. So I really want to check this out. I know the covers reprinted. As I say, it's been more than I wanted to get for a while, so it doesn't bother me very much. It's alright anyway. It doesn't look too bad. So, yeah, that is The Searchers. Next up is The Big Shot, directed by Adam McKay. Obviously, he's got Don't Look Up coming very soon, which is one of my most anticipated films for the last month of the year. This has got a great cast. I do remember watching this when it first came out, but not really appreciating it. I think if I am, if I were to rewatch it again soon, which I will, I think I will appreciate it more for what it is. Uh, obviously, it's got great cash. You've got Christian Bale, Steve Carell, Ryan Gosling, Brad Pitt. I mean, who else is in it? I don't know if it says who else is in it. It looks like Marissa Tomei is in it as well. So, yeah, I do look forward to checking this out again soon. Yeah, it just looks like I'll really enjoy it this time. So, yeah, that's the big short. Next up, another Clint Eastwood film. Cases in Horrible Condition, but again... This is one I've wanted for a long time, so I didn't really care. Million Dollar Baby. Really love this film. I think it's a really good film. 
Uh, might be Hilary Swank's best film, in my opinion. Could be. Morgan Freeman is fantastic in this film, as is Clint Eastwood. This did win... Yeah, it did win Best Picture, I think, didn't it? Yeah, and Morgan Freeman won. Clint Eastwood won. Hilary Swank won. So it won big at the Oscars that year. Uh, I know it went up against Brokeback Mountain. I've not seen that, so I can't say whether the this film deserved the awards it got. I just know that this is a fantastic film, so very happy to have it in the collection. Next up is a Christmas film that I've wanted in the collection for a while. I watched this for the first time last year. Love the director of this film. She's done some really good films. One featured, I think it was in last week's or the week's before's video. Uh, this one, as I say, getting ready for Christmas, and that is the holiday. Obviously, Cameron Diaz, Jude Law, Jack Black, Kate Winslet. Really good film. I think it's really good romantic comedy. They don't make films like this nowadays, unfortunately. Um, but like this is like love actually that sort of film really enjoy it so looking forward to revisiting it this christmas next up is constantine with keanu reeves one that i've wanted to check out for a while really like keanu reeves <coughs> excuse me and it's a comic book film i've not seen yet and one that not a lot of people really talk about um i don't think this did particularly well when it came out so but it looks like one that I'll probably enjoy, so let me know what you think if you've seen it down below. That's Constantine. Next up is A Couple's Retreat. Comedy, 50p. I thought, why not pick it up? It's one that I've not seen, and one that I think I really will enjoy because of the cast and the plot. So, yeah, I'll check this out soon. So, yeah, that's Couple's Retreat. Sorry if I'm not going into details on the plot on any of them this week. There's a lot of them, so I just wanted to get through it. I didn't want it to be as long, any longer than it needs to be. Uh, so, yep, yeah, but a few more to go. Next up we have War Horse. Steven Spielberg film. I remember watching this when it came out. I'm really liking it. I've not seen it since then, so I thought I'd pick it up now and re-watch it again. So, yep, yeah, that is War Horse. I think I read the book when it came out, Michael Mopergo. Yeah, but I remember watching the film and liking it, so I will give it another watch again soon. Next up, we have Detroit. I've heard this is a really good film. Obviously, it's directed by Catherine Bigelow, who directed The Hurt Locker and Zero Dark Thirty. And it's based around the events of the night where Detroit had the riots. I think it was back in the 60s and how it kind of changed like history kind of for them stars John Boyega, Will Poulter, I think John Krasinski's in this, Anthony Mackie so yeah I'm looking forward to giving this a watch relatively soon then we have Love and Mercy this one's one I've been interested in watching for a while just looks really interesting I like the Beach Boys music this is obviously about Brian Wilson who was I think he was was he the lead of the Beach Boys I don't know because I don't really I just listen to their music but this is about his struggles um, because he did struggle later on in life and obviously John Cusack plays him when he's older. I think Paul Dano plays a younger version of him. We've got Paul Giamatti and Elizabeth Banks in this as well. So yeah, I really look forward to checking this out soon because I do like these types of films, especially music based biopics. So I will watch this relatively soon. And then the final one from CEX is Dr. Zhivago. Again, as I said, I'm trying to watch older films. This is one that I've wanted to watch for a long time. It's a really long film at 200 minutes. So I don't know when I'll get around to watching it. I will at some point know because it is one I've wanted to watch for a while. I've got two discs in here. I think this is the special features, which is just a DVD. And then this is the Blu-ray. Just standard, really. So, yeah, I will watch this at some point. Might be the next year, hopefully. I try and get all my films watched as quickly as possible. So, but yeah, that is Dr. Zhivago. And then finally, I have four 4Ks to show off. Firstly, the new release of this last week, Reminiscence. I saw the cinema. I actually really liked it. I know a lot of people didn't. I know it got really bad um, reviews, but I quite enjoyed it. Thought it was really good. It's my type of film. Really like Hugh Jackman. Um, so yeah, I 
definitely was going to get this on 4K on release day. No question about it. So very happy to have this to revisit again. And next up, we have one that I got on eBay. I think it was Cinema Disa. It was selling for 12 quid, 11 quid, I think. Uh, a 4K that came out at the start of the year. A film that I just completely missed because I wasn't really interested in. But I am going to give it a go, see what it's like. And I am a completionist, so I had to get it. And that is The New Mutant. Uh, I've heard this is quite bad. Uh, but it is one that I was kind of interested in watching at the time that it came out. But just never got around to watching it. So I will give this a go. And it's another one for my X-Men Marvel collection. I think I've only got Dark Phoenix to get now. And then I think it's the first six films I've got on Blu-ray. So I may have to upgrade them to 4K. And then I've got all of them on 4K. Which is good. So yeah, that is the new Mutants. And then I got these two in the 50% off on HMV. There is another one to come next week that was out of stock at the time I ordered this. But came back into stock um, yesterday. So I ordered it. So that will be next week. First off we have Gremlins. I watched this for the first time last year. Really liked it. Been wanting to get it on 4K ever since then. And thought it was the right time because it was only £10. So yeah will be one that I rewatch this Christmas because I really like it, Gremlins. And then as mentioned earlier, the last film today uh, is a 4K again, was in the 50% off, and that is The Matrix. Got this, they're probably re-releasing this, not re-releasing, releasing this 50% off in HME because of the new one. They obviously do have the box set for all three films, but as I said, I'm not a massive fan of the sequels, so thought they were only worth getting on Blu-ray. This is definitely worth getting on 4K, so I was happy to get this. It's got a lovely slip cover, and it's got different artwork on the actual 4K. So, we'll be revisiting this soon. As I say, if you want me to do something on my channel, review them, rank them, let me know. I'll do that in the next week, and it'll be up some point, either next week or the week after. It'll be before the new film, for sure. So, yeah, that is everything. I'll go through individually each section and show you everything again. And that'll be the end of the video, so the 4Ks. We have all of the ones from CEX. And finally, all of the deliveries plus box sets, but they were all still delivered, so it's the same. And that is it. That's everything this week. Quite a lot this week. Probably won't be loads next week. But I know there's. I've definitely got a few things coming from Black Friday. Expecting some 4Ks. Expecting some more box sets. Uh, I'm expecting still quite a bit of things. But I don't think it will be much as this week. Because I'm going to need to cut down. Because it's getting towards Christmas. There will still be a significant amount. Don't worry. It's not going to be like far and few between there will be still at least 10 if not more each week i'm hoping anyway because i i just enjoy collecting that's the only thing i really spend my money on at the moment so i can afford to do it so yeah that is it so until next time everyone uh don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it if you didn't like the video then by all means give it a dislike but if you do choose to dislike it i'd appreciate it if you let me know why down in the comment section below uh, comment down below anything everything I get back to anyone that takes the time to leave me a comment Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and turn your notification bell on So you know when I have a new video uploaded onto the channel and that is it. So until next time everyone take care. Goodbye